Are you tired of slicing that golf ball yet? We're going to fix it right now. Considering the overwhelming amount of golfers, normal golfers, avid golfers perhaps, but suffering with a slice, banana ball. They are slicing and dicing and chopping broccoli, and they are losing 50 yards off the tee. Do you see how I rhymed that whole thing? Could we just end this problem with one simple drill? Yes, we can. So let's get after it. You have got a glove logo on the back of your hand. You also have a club face somewhere down here with these little lines. We're going to figure out how to point this club face logo back to that camera and point. Uh, uh, listen now, we might not just fix a slice. We might create a poop hook, which means hooking the poop out of the golf ball, which would be preferable for a bit by getting this club face to point back at that camera, glove logo back. Then we're going to come through impact and turn it over so that the glove logo is now out to the target. The club shaft points roughly at where the target line is. Got me? Okay, so it's that way. There's that one back. Oh, that's closing the face. This way, this one's back out to the target now, okay? There to there. Hey, positions, oh my. Backswing, finish. Backswing, finish. Folks, this, well, flexor extensor series is getting a little bit of an exercise. Oh, it's back that way, and it's back this way. Hey, I hit this far behind that golf ball. But let me tell you something. That swing, oh, that was bueno. That's what we want. And right now, I don't care if I miss that golf ball. What I want to see is that swing. Right there. See where my thumb is? See where my logo is? Now my thumb's over here. Logo there. It's weird, but it's not nearly as weird as searching in the right trees for your golf all the time. Okay. There goes the logo back there, and it's over here. Now, you're going to see that golf ball wanting to do something. Whoa, whoa, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I got no speed on it, folks. Don't worry about it. But you can see the motion. It doesn't look as weird as you're going to feel when you do it. It doesn't. And if you've had enough golf lessons... There's sometimes when I just move somebody's address position from this to this, and they feel like, oh, I can't even stand up straight like that. And then I show them the video, and they go, oh, my God. And I say, well, your feel sucks, but so does mine. We have to learn to calibrate our sense of feel. Okay. Twist it back. Twist that sucker. But you're twisting it a completely different way. Instead of twisting it open, which looks like this, now... The logo's facing my face. The club face is facing my target. That is what we call wide open. Nope. We want the exact opposite. There's facing backward. Now it's facing forward. Okay. Look at that. Look at that club shaft. When you get the hang of it, getting the hang of it doesn't mean you have the thought. Getting the hang of it means, oh, I'm doing it. Use some feedback. Great feedback is the ball should be going left all the time. Every ball goes left. All right, then I can add speed. Golf says, okay, Dunnigan, you're getting the feel. Add speed. There it goes back there and over to here, and I just hit it off the planet to the left. Yay. That ball ain't slicing, folks. What's cool is when I put that wrist in that condition, it sure makes the impact good, doesn't it? Now, I can do that, and I can turn the thumb, the hitchhiker, right? I can turn it, turn the logo down and out to the target a little bit later. 
and maybe I can straighten this ball flight a little bit. A little bit later, and a little bit straighter. By golly, I am hot today with the rhymes. This is a way for you to absolutely start owning this. And I think you can do it. Okay, folks, listen, this is what I do for a living. I see people change their ball flight radically every day. Trying to hit the ball dead straight, hard game. Hard game. Be content to hit some lefties for a bit. Okay, now I get the same feel, and I go all the way back. There's the face back. Facer, oh, baby. You can still see I did it here. And that look at that. That is just a beautiful little, oh, my goodness. That was a 171-yard 7-iron on the carry draw. You can take it all the way through. Let's have a quick look at these swings. Little swing. Look at that club face facing back toward the camera. Yippee skippy. Believe it or not, having this club face like this, okay, fine. Having this wrist like this helps my golf club to flatten out in transition like that. Isn't that cool? Oh, look at that. Just like the pros on TV, there's a little curve in that lead wrist coming through impact. The hands are ahead because that's what that lead wrist does. And the turning it right over. There it is. Right there is the exercise. A little farther out. Yep, that's a bunch of turn. And that's the one that went really hard left. And we gave it a little bit more speed here. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Anything with the wrist? Turnover looks like TV golf, doesn't it? Okay, haven't had to change my grip, haven't had to do anything because my grip's already sound. Check your grip, please. I'm, I'm begging you. Check that darn grip. And here's fast. You can see I'm still pointing the club face backward. There's the wrist inside. Lovely wrist action. Boink and turned all the way over. And that bowl was beautiful. At some point, you might explore slower, faster with this turnover, glove logo turning. Indeed, if it is repeatedly going too far, hard to the left, you might make a slight grip adjustment. Don't forget our grip adjustments. Slightly over to the left, the face closes less. And that goes with either hand. I want you to fix this slice. And I want you to let me know how it goes down there in the comments below. Get after it.